everyone thank you so much for clicking onto my video i hope you're having a great week you are welcome to discovery with monami if you have been following the media recently there's been a lot of people celebrities coming forward talking about how they have one way or the other been sexually harassed or abused by top media personalities and in a way it's shocking because obviously we give people so much respect that we don't put such um bad behaviors towards them we don't it's not that we think they can't do it we just don't look at them in that kind of manner we don't think they will do things which are so stupid but obviously human is human and sometimes people go about doing things which are ridiculous and they think they can get away with that so i think it's amazing that people are shedding lights on their experiences people are talking we need to um let people know that they can't just do things and get away with it because when someone says no is a no even that like if somebody has not given you the go ahead you shouldn't feel that you are in such a powerful state that you'll be able you can able to do anything to anyone and get away with it i think it's ridiculous and um uh, i'm glad to know people are talking because it's interesting when you listen to those stories sexual harassment sexual abuse has been okay and obviously we all know people do these things all the time and most of the time victims don't find it comfortable or they don't feel um supported to even come out to you know share their experiences because sometimes maybe they feel like what will someone say about me maybe they feel like oh i deserve it because i was dressing a certain way i deserve it because i shouldn't be in that environment at that point in time who is to say to somebody dress this way or go here or do that everyone has the freedom you should have freedom to explore life to experience life to the best of your ability but then the fact that you are excited about life or you're trying to experience life does not mean someone should take advantage of that that is wrong especially in our like black community right you get children who are who have been sexually abused by uncles close family members and most of the time the families just hide it they cover it up because they don't want other people to know they don't want it to come out out because then it becomes a stigma um to the family at the end of the day if they are doing it to what they've done it to one person you don't know who else they are doing it to you don't know who else they are going to do it to so i think it's important for us to um give people the opportunity to express themselves like a lot of young boys get sexually harassed sexually abused all the time and they feel ashamed to say to talk about it because they don't know what perception people will have um for them and it's not it's not appropriate right if you feel like someone's touched you the wrong way if you feel like someone's looked at you a way that you feel uncomfortable let somebody know that you know what well, this uncle He's been sneaking up in my bed and he's been trying to be funny with me. Like, let people know that people should not get away with things like that. So, I have an issue where I'm um, reporting, obviously, like coming forward with sexual abuse and sexual harassment. I have an issue um, regarding the, the, the line. Where do we draw the line? Do we say the fact that you touched my hand means... I've been sexually assaulted because I'm asking this question because I think sometimes it's difficult to really understand the limit or the level. Some people are playful, some people are very touchy-feely and they can't even touch you without recognizing that they are touching you, <laughs> you know, because that's just their personality. Do we then say, okay, this is not a sexual assault or sexual abuse because this person did this or because that's just their personality you know what i mean where do we draw the line basically sexual assault is basically when someone indecently touches somebody without their um, permission right so that's just um, the basic and explanation of it so then if that's the case indecent can be different to different people some people can find their holding of hands 
to be very intimate. Some people can find um, kissing on the cheek to be very intimate. Some people can find looking in the eyes to be intimate. So then where, where do we draw the line? Do we then say, okay, if you believe this, then yours is this way. Or if you believe you feel this way, then yours is that way. The fact that you might touch my hands and I feel comfortable about it does not mean the next person will feel comfortable about it. So I think in most situations, because we can't have different rules for everybody, because the law is not set in that way. We can't say, oh, if you are this way, then yours is that. The law is one underlined rule. Because that's the case, then I think we all have to be very careful how we relate to people. Because if you are very touchy-feely, know your space. You need to start understanding that not everyone is like that. So you need to understand the kind of people you are around. And then you need to learn and train yourself how you deal with different people. Because you don't want a situation whereby someone will come out and say you've done something to them when that wasn't your intention. One of the worst things I think you can hear is like your colleague or your family member or someone coming out to say you've done something to them when that was in the case or when you went you were not intending for that to to happen so that's one thing we need to look at well should i say men find it to be normal or acceptable to act a certain way because they are powerful in the community such people need to know that those times where power gave you all the opportunities to get away with things those times are over because of social media, even if your position in the society will make the person feel scared or uncomfortable to go out and speak to the police or speak to like authorities about what you have done to them, know that them putting it on social media alone is going to ruin your life. So just don't do it. Why can't you just stick with your wives? Like, I don't understand. Find your wife or your husband, whatever it is, and stick with them and leave these girls and boys alone all these women and men alone because at the moment right people don't have to just go to the police people can just put on social media blast you on there and the whole world will know about you so if you are one of those men or women in the community who have been touching up people and getting away with it well mm, the time is now everyone is speaking out about it everyone is speaking up about it so i think it's time for people to be very careful of their actions and understand that not everything is right and you can't just get away with things when um people especially our children if you're a parent your child or your your family member your friend come to you and saying they have been assaulted or sexually abused i think a lot of times we put a lot of um, questions to the person who has faced possibly a very traumatic situation. We ask questions which sort of makes it feel like the abuser had the right to or the abuser is not in the wrong. We ask questions about like, what were you wearing? Um, if they it was in the person the abuser's house why were you in the house why did you follow the person to the hotel why were you at this place at that point in time i think those things are very wrong because the fact that somebody is wearing a particular clothing the fact that somebody looked at you in a particular way the fact that somebody is naked on the street does not mean you should go and do anything to them right the fact that someone has come to you looking for a job does not mean you hold the power or the authority to touch them in a manner which will make them feel uncomfortable. The fact that someone has come to you for a favor does not mean you should go and do something which is, first of all, is, is traumatic, right? And it's illegal to that person. I think we need to stop this idea of, oh, if you don't want to be abused as a woman, as a woman, because mainly women are the ones, when a guy says they've been sexually harassed, we don't really think about it, we just think, okay, seriously, which is also very bad because men are out here getting raped and getting touched in uncomfortable manners, as we have all heard recently. But with women especially, we look at the clothing they were wearing, we looked at we look at how they were dressed, we look at how the makeup they had on, the lipstick we had on, and all of that stuff. Mate, if somebody 
hasn't come up to you or if somebody hasn't opened up and said to you, touch me, don't touch them. That's simple. Even if you're in bed with a person, as everyone knows now, it's even illegal to touch your own wife without her saying, go ahead. Or, or if your wife says no, when you touch her, that is also sexual abuse. Anyways, how much more a stranger, how much more someone who you are not legally married to or someone who you are not in like sexual relationship with? If the person is saying no, no means no. Some men have it in their mind that, oh, women will say no, but they want it. If she says no, but she wants it, she said no. That's the word. The word says no. No is no. Whether she, you come and find her butt naked in bed and she says no, just think about yourself. Think about the fact that you could be spending a lot of time in prison, right? Or think about the fact that you could be spending so many weeks and days in going up and down in court, just being stressed out about investigations, which you can avoid or you can prevent yourself from facing. The cue is the person says no. No, even if a woman is dirty winding, bump and grinding on you and getting you hard and she says no, it's no. I can't understand. Why can't people just understand the word no? Let's just say she's on it. She wanted it. But for some reason, within a split second, she say, he or she says no. The person said no. The only thing you want to, you need to understand in any of these, you know, what is the intimate sexual encounters is that as long as the person says no, or even if they don't say with their mouth, but gives you any action that indicates that they are not up for it. Pick the no, just say no and leave it. Because at the end of the day, you might not be intending to, you know, do anything to somebody or even like hurt somebody like or whatever. But the fact that you ignore the person's um, response to you can land you in trouble. So I think people need to take cues. You need to understand, no, you need to know what you are able to do and what you can't do. You can't use your position in power to intimidate people. You can't use your position position in power to sexually harass or touch people. You can't be, you can't use your position in power to take anything that anything personal away from anybody, whether sexually, whether intimately, whether whatever. You should know your position. Your position does not give you different rights from people who are maybe more less privileged than you. Your position does not give you the, the right to go about and do anything you want and get away with it. So I think it's great that people are coming out and I think it's hopefully, fingers crossed, as I said before, hopefully it will make a change. There's no guarantees that it's going to make a change, but at least we are starting to share more light on it. At least young people are starting to understand that, you know what, it's not just me or even more people who are less privileged are starting to understand that it's not just them who are going through things, but even richer and more powerful people have been through these situations and are still going through it and everyone is basically fighting together. So... There's just a little thing I have to say about this current sexual harassment, sexual abuse cases that we've been hearing from Hollywood. And um, Hollywood needs to fix itself because we are also trying to fix ourselves down here. So yeah, just remember people, when you are in a situation and the person says no, it's a no. If they give you a little hint, whether, even if it's not verbal, if you feel a little hesitation, it means it's a no. That's what you need to know so that you yourself don't put yourself you, yourself in a situation where you'll find, you know, it difficult to get out of. And also, if you feel, if you find yourself in a, in a situation where you feel like sexually intimidated sexually harassed or sexually assaulted it's best to speak to somebody even if you don't want to report it to the police yourself speak to the people closest to you so they can give you they can help you get the support that you require we need to fight this issue together because it's about time people in power you know get told about themselves and realize that they can't use their positions anyhow and they can't get anything they want don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video and share it. Remember, you are discovering with Monami. Thank you.